sushi. Sushi rolls that you may know and exotic sushi rolls that maybe you've never tried. As well as sashimi and nigiri. And some of the amazing foods transplanted by the chefs who've worked in the mega resort corridor hotels. These are some of the items that I found at a local place here in Las Vegas. This is proof that you don't have to go to the most expensive places to find amazing quality food, amazing quality sushi. A brand new sushi spot in West Las Vegas. Stay tuned. What's happening? What you making? Uh, red Rock Roll. Red Rock. What's in the Red Rock? Uh, cucumber, chip tempura. Meet Sid. He's one of the sushi chefs here at a new place located on the west side of town at Wallopai and Twain. For more details, check the description below. This is Hana Sushi. It's brand new. They opened on April 28th. I love finding new restaurants. It's like finding a new frontier, something that's untouched. Not quite as busy because they just opened, but people are already coming in. There have been some people who have been waiting for the opening because there was a slight delay while waiting for their liquor license. But as you can see, they do have their liquor license. The head chef here has 38 years experience in some big places and some very popular places around the LA area and in Korea. For more on the chefs, you can check their website. I believe they have a short introductory bio. Here the head chef is preparing amaebi or sweet shrimp. This is an expensive dish. They're pretty pricey to get a sweet shrimp of this size. Some of the all-you-can-eat places will have sweet shrimp and they serve it differently. Some places will give you just one. Some of them will have a very small miniature version of the sweet shrimp. Here they have the full deal. It's a good full-sized sweet shrimp served nigiri style over rice and they fry the shrimp heads. The ama ebi was extremely fresh. In my opinion, that's the only way to serve ama ebi. It has to be fresh and it came with the little bit of roe on top. This was really delightful. And the fried shrimp head, some people eat this. You don't have to, but if it's fried crispy, it's actually pretty good. Currently, this place does not have an all-you-can-eat menu. Everything is a la carte. Their website is still under construction and the menu might not be available there, so I'll post some pictures of the menu that I saw when I visited at the end of the video if you're really interested. So what's the trickiest thing about rolling, making rolls? That you have to make a whole bunch of them in your life. <laughs> you it's make... just a whole bunch of repetition. <laughs> it's just repetition, 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 and everything is just automatic. Kind of like an assembly line? Absolutely. Uh -huh. like, you know, sometimes it becomes robotic, but if you're passionate in what you do, it's okay. I like, I like making sushi, so I could, I could stare all day and whatever. Mm -hmm. Have you have ever had it bother you, like, when you're hungry making sushi that you want to eat it? I like, actually, I like being hungry when I make sushi, because I enjoy it more. Oh, is that like, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I like eat afterwards. Uh -huh. But I like to be when I'm working. I like to be like hungry, like starving. Basically. Oh, uh huh. That's just, that's just me though. It keeps me like, you know, it keeps me focused. In addition to the fabulous sushi rolls, they also have some hot dishes here, including a signature soy fried udon. This is actually a recipe that's used in some of the major resorts. This comes with your choice of chicken, beef, or shrimp. Your choice of meat comes stir fried with vegetables, carrots, celery, zucchini, onions, and the noodles are coated with this slightly sweet, tasty soy sauce glaze. This was one of the most popular dishes during their grand opening. It's a mild flavored dish that has a perfect combination of meat, vegetables, and soft noodles. But the specialty at Hana Sushi is the sushi, the sashimi and the nigiri. This is the sukemono, which are like Japanese pickles. 
It's an assortment of pickles along with a few other vegetables such as this mushroom, some carrots, some daikon, and some garlic. And then in the middle they have the taco wasabi, which is octopus in a wasabi. Gives you a nice kick and it's refreshing. If you like octopus, you'll like that dish. And pictured here is the golden roll and then one of their special sashimi platters. You have three choices for these special sashimi platters. It comes in the silver, the gold, and the diamond. The silver is the small sashimi special. That pepper there is actually wasabi. Uh, the silver goes for about $88, and then the gold is $128, and the diamond is $168. I do have pictures of the menus at the end of the video if you're interested. The sashimi is exquisite here. Everything is extremely fresh, high quality, and it's cut very well. In the middle, you see the toro. I believe it's otoro, and it has gold flakes on it. But if you'd rather have nigiri, they also have a large selection of nigiri as well. They are equally as fresh. Good large cuts. Fish to rice ratio is just right. Not too small. I've been to some places where there's barely any rice. So what's the point of having or ordering nigiri? But that's usually at the all-you-can-eat places. The AYCE experience is a separate experience. As you can see here, especially that tuna, you can see the difference. And if you've been to some of the AYCE places where they are mass producing these, they are frozen and thawed many, many times. And you know the difference. You can tell. The Japanese pickles are used sometimes as a palate cleanser, especially the ones that have some ginger. It helps you distinguish between the different fish that you eat. This golden roll was beautiful. Just the right amount of toppings with the fillings and not too much rice, but just enough to make a firm roll. So as you know, the salmon and the yellowtail are buttery anyway, but pair that with avocado and a tempura shrimp and you have a rich, crunchy texture. Talking about tempura, they also have your regular fried tempura. They do have quite a bit of appetizers and hot dishes here as well. I thought this dish was really interesting and extremely beautiful. They took a cucumber and used every part of the cucumber, even as the centerpiece of the dish and the garnish. Look at this cucumber bridge. This was exquisite. Look at the knife work, extremely delicate. And even the decoration with just a cucumber peel. This was an extremely refreshing roll. Lots of vegetables, a little bit of sashimi and vegetables. Very delightful, slight very mild vinaigrette or something that resembled a vinaigrette one thing you must know about this place is that some of the prices will change and fluctuate depending upon availability and market price this is the fresh wasabi have you ever had fresh wasabi the amount that i have on this shrimp will clear your sinuses trust me but sometimes people prefer the paste because they like the soy sauce base with the mix as I mentioned about the tuna before, check out this tuna. This is one of the best tuna pieces I've had because lately I've been getting a lot of AYCE tuna and you know, frozen thawed and it's kind of rubbery and pinkish. This is nothing like that. This is the real deal. Nowadays, everybody looks for the all you can eat places and I'll admit it is a good deal. However, sometimes you want quality. Like the salmon with the caper. I'm not sure if it was a smoked salmon. I don't believe so. It wasn't as salty. But somebody knows how to pair food together because smoked salmon and capers have been paired together for a long time. Great combination. And here's more of an exotic deal. This is one of my favorite ways to eat. Tobiko and Ikura, which is your flying fish roe and the salmon eggs. I get the quail egg over the top because I love the creaminess of the quail egg, especially with Ikura. Ikura has a salty base and then the creamy quail egg mixes so well. The tobiko, not as salty, extremely firm. You can feel the tobiko eggs individually and the mixture with the quail egg, very rich. Love this dish. Do you sear that here with the blowtorch or is it already seared? No, we sear it. 
we we'll share with the blowtorch. Oh, okay. So you're gonna sear it pretty soon? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hana Sushi was very impressive with the freshness, the presentation, the cuts. All of the dishes were excellent, highly recommended. And as I said in the beginning of the video, here are some of the pictures of the menu. You might need to pause it if you want to look into it in detail. Just keep in mind that the prices and the items may change. But these days I'm used to menus changing and prices fluctuating. That's the norm these days. And I'm really glad I found a place where I could get quality sushi without having to pay the ridiculous prices. On the strip, you could be paying $30 to $100 for one bite. So this is Hana Sushi, a really cool spot on the west side of town. Check them out. That's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.